Okay, so now let's attach the elastic at the bottom and the top of the bra. So you can use, because this is strapless, you can use um, a silicone gripper elastic. Um, so all this means is that it has a silicone um, in the center. It's like a rubbery, sticky thing, and this helps to keep it um, up. So this is a Pico plush elastic with a silicone strip down the center. Um, this is the same elastic is right here but it does have a pico edge and it's a little bit narrower or smaller um it's completely up to you the pico is is a decorative trim so it should be um facing out think of it as like a pico edge on like a blouse um you can also you can use just regular pico plush elastic so if you don't have that um you can just use regular pico plush um so when you so um elastic most cases, um, you will start with the garment right side up. So elastic is sewn. If you've never sewn elastic, I'll give you um, a, a brief rundown. So elastic has a right and a wrong side. The right side um, is fuzzy and the wrong side it isn't. And you always want the fuzzy side to be against your body. Usually you start with the garment right side up. Um, Pico face up, flat edge against the flat edge of the fabric. A lot of people ask me, a lot of people get tripped up um, sourcing elastics. So if the seam allowances on most lingerie are quarter of an inch um, and you find an elastic that's perfect, um, that's five eighths of an inch or three eighths of an inch, what do you do? You don't change the seam allowances on the pattern, but you kind of adjust your sewing to meet um, your elastic. So if I, if all, if all seam allowances are a quarter of an inch and I got a three eighths of an inch um, uh, uh, Pico plush elastic, what I will do is when I'm sewing, I'll just kind of make sure that it's over, it's hanging over an eighth of an inch. Um, so usually r garment right side up, Pico's uh, fuzzy side up, Pico's facing in. Elastic is sewn in two passes. You'll sew a zigzag stitch right here on this edge on the pico edge and then you will flip it to the wrong side and sew it on the other side. Uh, zigzag stitch. So there's no right and wrong zigzag stitch as far as width or length. Um, usually I like to keep the width half the width of the elastic because zigzag or because um, you will sew in two passes. If it's more than half the width, when you sew the second pass, the, the zigzag stitches will overlap. Um, and then the length, so the closer they are, the more stretch it's going to have. And then the wider that it is, it, that's, um, it's more similar to a straight stitch, so it's the less stretch that it will have. Um, also, at this point, I do like to just double check because our sewing is not perfect, um, but this will eventually be um, attached to the hook and eye. So I like to just make a note and just make sure that when I fold it back, is it still going to fit? I like to do this with any sort of bra. So I will sew the first pass. Again, I'll include photos, but I will sew the first pass and then um, show you what that looks like and then we'll sew the second pass. 